So I want to. I do want to talk about Michigan State and Michigan because listen, Mel Tucker got all this money, got the huge, got the huge raise, did a lot of work with transfers, lost a bunch of guys to the next level into graduation. Um, I will say this: gonna have to lower my voice. My wife did go to Michigan State, and. She's her cousin. Her cousin is called Chewings, who was their left tackle. Like she, she has stopped. She's she's going to trunk or treat on Saturday because she's not going to watch this game. She's scared of what's going to happen. Wow! Wow! <laughs> I'll tell you this: I don't want to say it too loud because I don't want her to have too much con- this to get passed around. You should never feel good about this game because it's, yeah. it's one of those games where X's and O's, they don't matter. Yeah. Logic doesn't matter. <laughs> Listen, I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this story. We were playing them in 2016. Yeah. We were heavily favorited. Yep. We were a talented, talented football team. And then you know what happened that week? Hand, foot, mouth outbreak on campus and specifically in the football team. <laughs> The statistical likelihood of that happening at any point is like zero, but specifically in Michigan state, like, listen, man, I'm about to put on the tin foil hat. I'm like, listen, it's Michigan state week. Expect the unexpected because things like that happen. The trouble with the snap. I was in practice all year. I never saw us muff even bobble one snap ever happens in the game. Things happen in this game. You're worried. Completely off script. And Michigan State expects it. It's time for Michigan to start expecting it and to respond to it because you have to. <laughs> First of all, how did you? I just, I got to go. Can I just go back one second? Hand, foot, and mouth. That's like kids' disease. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. Like, that's They're, like, that's like a daycare disease. Yeah. I think that was artificially injected somehow. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I'm like, I'm a tinfoil hat guy. I'm like, man, there's no way there's a hand, foot, mouth outbreak. And it was like, I had, I happened to have strep throat that week. I was like, I thought I was strep one of the guys. Throat. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I trust me because I saw dudes with hand, foot, mouth. It, it literally looks like chicken pox for an adult. It's, it's yeah. disgusting. It's gross. We had multiple starters that had hand, foot, mouth. There was like a room of us getting out. We had uh, had to quarantine that week. We were quarantining before COVID. We were quarantining before it was cool. Um, It was, it was, it was the crazy. We had IVs before game at halftime, but like, that's what happens Michigan state week. If you don't expect it, you can expect to lose, expect the unexpected. So yeah, expect to get hand, foot and mouth. It's not good. You're going to have blisters in your mouth and your hands are going to have rashes. Don't, so this is real. So realistically, let's look at like Blake Corum. Obviously, is a Heisman candidate, and JJ McCarthy is a guy that we want to see win that big one, a big win a game that that you know a rivalry game, obviously. And then most folks want to see him win that game at the end of the year against Ohio State. So who's more important going into this game, JJ or, or Corum? I, I I would start here, but I want to kick it to Trevor. Yeah. Um, to me, it's JJ because the way I see it is you're just putting these little notches on your belt. They're like experiences. The first time you ride a roller coaster, you you actually think you're going to die. By the third time, you're like, all right, click, 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 click. I know what's on the other side of this. It's going to be fun, right? Okay, well, you beat Iowa, great defense on the road in your first sure. true road start. Great, check that box. You beat Penn State, an excellent defense at home, and you handled business. Check. This one's different because it's a rivalry game. And I'm interested as a quarterback, Trevor, does that actually matter? Does do do you consider does that experience have have weight for you? It does. We played Texas every year in the Cotton Bowl. Same deal. Doesn't matter where you're ranked, the year you were having, does not matter. Throw it all out the window. Anything can happen inside that stadium. So I I love rivalry weeks because of that reason. I think you hit the nail on the head there, Jake. Um, It is a big game for J.J. McCarthy. He has to play well in this one. That being said, I think it is more important for Blake Corum, who has a huge target on his back, 
He is the bell cow. He is the constant in this offense to go out and continue to do what he's done week in and week out. He he will be in New York, Jake. And Max Ooh. Duggan will not be with him, but he will be in New York with the way that he's playing. He has an opportunity to continue that in a big-time rivalry game, and I really look forward to watching it. I think they both have to play well, if you want to be really honest, though. They both have to play really, really well. 